Okay, I think we're good. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I am, well, here we go, wait a minute. I'll just put it on me for a second. Oh, there's popcorn in the background. I've got my Frida shirt on, to wish me luck. <laughs> and uh, we are doing this as a live on YouTube, but I'll record it as well, just to make sure we've got a high definition in case something good comes out of it. Uh, please, you mu I think you have to be subscribed to chat on uh, YouTube. And uh, yeah, if you've got questions about art supplies or things that I, you think I might be able to help you with, please um, put a little chatty poo there. Um, great. Well, I'm going to... I think I can see everything. And today... <laughs> is Artvent calendar. It's a Saturday morning. Sorry, I've been, it's all very technical and this is a setup where you, I can't check anything before I go live on air. So I just have to work that out. There must be a way. Um, so Artvent calendar, I've got the wrong one. We did uh, Pigment Pebbles first and this uh, calendar is actually on my blog as well. And we've got the Gods and Monsters inks that I want to show you today. Well, that's what I'm going to be using. It's not so much showing you those, but I thought I would pull out all of the Creative Juice inks that I've done so far. So we started off with the Feeling Inspired set of inks. That's these ones here. And there's two sets of these. And these are all named... Uh, after um, things to do with the mind and creativity. So the finesse, we have muse, we have gifted grey, genius green, etc. There's 24 colours in those. And all the little bottles look like this. Very cute. Uh, so these are, this is just a beautiful rainbow of inks. I love putting them into the spray bottles and using them as a spray. I think it's my one of my favourite ways of using inks anyway. So that was the originals. Then I think the next ones that came, gosh, were they the Gods and Monsters? Maybe. So this was the original Gods and Monsters. This is the Greek edition, as in the Greek, uh, ancient Greek Gods and Monsters. I used them a little bit yesterday, a couple of colours, I think. Uh, so these are colours named after Aphrodite, Persephone, Medusa, the Harpies, uh, Cerberus, different gods and monsters in that pantheon. And the inks that we're going to be looking at today are the Roman edition of these, which came out earlier this year. So I'll leave those there. I'll take these away. We've also got the Twinkle Toes. These are a glimmering ink. And there's 24 colours in those. And these are all named after dancers. So Quick Step, Foxtrot, Viennese Waltz, Salsa, Paso Doble. Paso Doble? I think that's how you say it. Merengue, Pocket. But they've actually got sparkle inside them. They're divine. And then there's also the Legends of the Sea. These are a sheening specialty ink as well. Always in these same lovely bottles. The bottles have got a bit of weight, so they're not so easy to tip over. That's the whole idea with them. But they're big enough to be able to pop your dip pen in or brush if needs be. And then there are the pigments of imagination. And these are a permanent ink. So all of these are water reactive. Pigments of imagination are um, beautiful colours in permanent ink. Uh, everything's fountain pen friendly. Um, you can put them all in sprayers, all, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And the pigments of imagination are named after creatures that are figments of imagination. Depending on the imagination, you might believe in fairies and uh, sylphs and so forth. Uh, now, just um, Angus, can I get you to help me move these? Sorry, we've got Gus here. And uh, I said legends. There. Okay, so I've got, I'll leave those just nearby. Just Could you just put them back behind me? Okay, and then these. Um, oh, fantastic. Lynn's here for the first time watching a YouTube live. 
Excellent, sounds great. I love to hear that. Melissa says, happy to join you. Just ordered some stuff. Oh, thank you so much for Melissa. And Jenny says, sounds great. And she loves these things, all oh, fabulous. So we're just gonna have some fun. You don't have to have these inks, of course, to join in. This is, Art Vent is my way of celebrating the year that has been mm. uh, in just daily live streams. Um, if you've not been around here, I'm a little bit informal because I do this uh, in my own uh, time, so to speak. Like I said, it's a Saturday morning. It's, it's free. It's just meant to be fun and to help you do some extra art, really. And, uh, well, I love playing with art supplies, so that is what is going to be happening. <laughs> so let me just show you. This is the, the one we are celebrating today. Gods and Monsters, Roman edition. So it comes in a little box like this so that you can keep them in here and organised if you so desire. The colours are on the back and the boxes are all different. So this is the first edition with the Gods and Monsters on it. This one has more of the splashes of colour. And I do actually have another set here. So this is the Roman edition. There's the difference between the Greek gods and the Roman gods. There, there is definitely a lineage between the two. The Greek gods were, came around first and then very often the Roman gods are based on these and they just have a little bit of a name change. They're usually the, their um, job, <laughs> it was usually pretty much the same, but there's a name change. So Venus, became Aphrodite, sorry, the other way around. Um, Aphrodite became Venus. Uh, Athena became Diana. Oh, is that right? No, Artemis became Diana. Zeus became Jupiter. Hades became Pluto. Anyway. But some things keep their name. Medusa's always Medusa. Pegasus is always Pegasus. So most of the monsters kept their names, doesn't matter. Uh, Cyclops, he kept his name. Minerva, that's who. It, Athena became Minerva, okay. Poseidon became Neptune. It's like learning a whole other little language. So each of the <laughs> ink sets also comes with a set of stickers so that you can label anything that you make with them. So for instance, I'm just looking for my water brushes that I've put these inks in. Oh, I might use these today actually. Uh, so I can put the labels on here, the labels on here. Thermomix inks can be uh, used with cold wax. With what? Oh, I don't have enough experience with cold wax. Um, was that a question in the chat? Yep. Um, you would have to play with that, but I don't see any reason why not. Like, it wouldn't be a concern for flammability. Um, and they are a permanent ink, but I don't know what, if there would, I don't have enough experience with wax. But wax is very inert, right? It's not very reactive, so and neither are the inks. But I have to be honest and say I don't really, I don't know. The other permanent ink we have is the tattoo ink. That comes in the skull bottle. And that's got all sorts of different colours as well. So this is the original tattoo ink. This is tattoo pink. This is the most pinkiest pink ink you're going to ever see. And I accidentally just showed you something I wasn't meant to show you. That's the danger of having things sitting on my desk that aren't released yet. But yes, there's a white ink coming. Okay. But the stickers are here so that you can label, like I showed you earlier, like the Mr. Bottles, that sort of thing. I've also got a pen that will write on just about everything. That's the Wonder Writer, which is a labeling pen. And I'm just, I love to label things because uh, otherwise I forget what I've put in, uh, in a, a Mr. Bottle or something. So this one here, I haven't written down what it is. 
it's Jupiter and some of the new pigment pebbles, but I've already forgotten which ones I've put in there. So it's a good idea to write them down because you might create something you absolutely love and you might need reference to it. So I've just pop. How cute are the little boxes? So obviously you pull the inks out. I try and keep these stickers as well, but trick, you can just open the box from the bottom. You don't have to rip the little box up. Uh, but, but they have to be in the little boxes just to make sure they get to you in one piece and perfect. So all these things are uh, JDHQ exclusive so you can get them from my website. Now, oh, so this is the Gods and Monsters Roman inks. I've got them. This is in one of my little drawer and stores. We don't have any of these left at the moment. We've just sold out. But I know a lot of you have them and you can fit the whole set of inks in one of these if you've got one. But I've put some of the pigment pebbles in here, which are these new little things. So this is a 3D pebble of pigment, exactly as it says. And you can just drop whichever colours, mix whatever, into whichever ink you like. If it's an opaque ink, the sparkle's not going to be able to do much, but most inks aren't opaque. Um, but all, certainly all of these Creative Juice inks, my incredible inks, uh, which were my the very first ink that I did. Um, yeah, all of the, all the inky goodness. It should all be pretty good. This is a great big journal that I've got going and I think I might add now that I've been playing and so the cover itself is 150 years old and then I've filled it with different papers and uh, these are all playing around with things I'll just pop this one on Instagram this morning and I've been playing around in here and just loving my time so I might do something on here I might let's do some spraying of course I decide to do that uh, when I've got a nice shirt on, so I better put my apron on. Which, for some reason, I can't find. There it is, yay! Oh my gosh. I feel so organised when I remember to put on my apron. Because I very often just wing it and thinking, oh, it'll be all right. But um, I'm aproned up now got my Jane apron on. <laughs> okay. Oh, Curry says she wants all the inks and she loves all the bottles. Oh, talking about bottle love. <gasps> Can you? Look, I think we might get these out too. I've got Athena. I haven't got my Roman ones in the Muse bottles, however, but I'm just going to bring some of these out. This one has got a little bit of glimmer in it. Oh, I'll put her back there. What else? What else? What else? But how cute are the little Aphrodite shaped bottles? Or Marilyn Monroe, same thing. I've also got the inks from both of the sets in this. Mind you, maybe I should be working on. Because this is a shading and gradiating ink, different colours come out of it. So this is what I'm talking about. I might uh, zoom in a little. There we go. Uh, and this has also got sparkling because I've been playing with the pigment pebbles. But see how it's purple, but it's got this little blue edge. Uh, this is what these inks do. Um, here are, uh, this is the sheening ink from the Legends of the Sea. Oh, this is Twinkle Toes, but on specialty papers, they really do all sorts of lovely uh, gradiating things as well. So this is uh, just different tests. So here we are with Gods and Monsters inks with pebble pigments in them as well. So they've got the glitter. So you have to add that glitter just dropping the pebble in there but it's just especially with a journal as you're turning the page you've just got this whole other thing happening oh there's Zorro this is the uh, so I might work in this one uh, 
Oh, this is Gods and Monsters. This might be um, Aphrodite. And uh, this is what I wanted to do, this sort of spraying. I mean, I'm on a little bit of a memory. <laughs> just going back and looking at all the... Just, it's just so nice. And I've added a bit of a skeleton on there for some reason. I think I drew that on the... Uh, when I was flying somewhere. I, I took this journal with me um, to Japan, I think. So I might start here. All of that to say, not much at all, sorry. Um, but that's a little bit me in general. And I've got, this is, um, we've got all sorts of laces and stencils uh, in my store. And I'm just going to, because I just am a avid collector of uh, laces for stencils. They're just so intricate. And that's how we get this sort of look. And they just make beautiful backgrounds, either very delicate or very layered. Just depends how you want to use them. So I'm just going to, you don't really need to shake that up, but it's just out of, uh, habit. So I'm just going to spritz on a little bit of colour. Why not do something on this side too? So you can see these in the stencil section on my website and actually I could even add that over or I can mix and match with some of my stencils too. So I might put that on this side so I could spray it around her or where is her counterpart? So these are some of my stencils with creative expressions. Here we go. Is she too big? Oh, well, maybe I'll just use her profile. So I can pop her down. And this little black thing, and I know if you're, if you're a regular person, you know what all the things are. I just always pretend that I have people here that have never seen what I'm doing before. So I'm just telling you what everything is, just so everyone knows. And I need a bigger piece of lace. Oh, what about this one? Actually, no, I might repeat that one. So I'll do a few more other colours here. So I've got a little bit of Aphrodite, a little bit of this one, and then I might even pop a little bit of uh, Hermes in here as well. So we've just got a little start on that side. And then I've got this lovely, delicate pattern. Uh, now that might be a little bit wet, so. I'm just going to give this a little dry bath because if this has got ink on it and I put it on this side, the ink is going to go straight on there and that's not quite what I want. I want it to spray around it. I love this sort of looping look that I've got so far. And I'm just going to put something else there. Let's grab another one of the stencils just so I don't get a, a mark along there. Okay, mm, organised. If I make that a bit flat, it'll be even nicer. Now I've got Aphrodite in here, which is a lilac, which has a little blue um, edge to it. This is Persephone, which is a beautiful light blue that has a little purple edge to it. I'm getting a bit of spill off over there, that's fine. And I might pop a bit of pink in there, for purple. This is Dionysus. And then let's see what we have. So I've got that spray. Oh, fabulous. And then I can just rinse this off. Isn't that cool? And I know for a fact, when I'm, if I was flipping through this later, I wouldn't be able to even remember what I've done. But I could have, she could be, uh, I could put white around here. And this could be like a speech bubble with this pattern in the text behind it as well. That's what I'm 
a little idea that's coming into my mind. I'm just going to tap off this uh, excess ink. I can either wait and leave it to dry, but by Dabbing that off, I've emphasised the colour change that's inside it because I'm just mucking around with the layers. So I might even just do that randomly here. Just add even more variety in there because this it's this special type of ink and this paper in the Levitation Journal, we also have this as separate pieces of paper. Uh, it emphasises any properties that inks have, it, em it emphasises them just because of the... Uh, it has no absorbency. It's just a special type of paper. Like the Tomo River papers, that family of papers. And because I've got this ink that's still on there, I wonder if, I don't know if this will really work, but it's still wet on there. I'm just going to, I hate wasting beautiful ink. So if I... This is what we were playing around with yesterday. So this is uh, different inks and I've got the pigment pebbles which are those sparkles that I've added into the inks. Oh, remember the cheeks, oh look how nice her cheeks turned out. Okay let's have a little, oh well her little nose and face, I could put a bit more ink on there and put it down again but I will just, you get the idea of what you can uh, get up to anyway and get that reverse print but before I pull this page away how gorgeous can you see the sparkle on her cheeks oh and look at that gold so that's all pib pibble <laughs> pebble pigment pebble pigment right just pop that over there and those little trust the mess sheets, oh my gosh, so useful. If you've been using inks with laces, just remember to give them a little rinse out because the next time you go to use them, whatever ink has been on it, that's been absorbed into the material. So that if I go to use something else that's uh, got liquid in it, which it has to have because it's, I'm misting it, it will mix with whatever it is that you're putting on so you'll get a colour cast which can turn out fabulous but can also make you go why didn't I wash my fabric why didn't I wash that out hey Miss Lulu how are you going oh you've got the pigments of imagination aren't they just divine um, when did they did they come out this year I can't even, I can't remember I have to have a look on my little Thing here. Yes, we are doing pigments of imagination in a few days' time, so we'll have a um, a little looky poo at those. So, of course, you don't have to have those inks to just do what I just did. That's just an example. Okay. Any ink at all? Any ink will do. It'll all work out. I'm just playing with my microphone. Okay. Now this paper that I've got in here is not my paper uh, it's these are huge big sheets that I'm really trying to just use up I had them gosh I've had them for a long time from when we before I even had my own art supplies and we used to sell art supplies um, so I bought tons and tons and tons of it <laughs> like a whole massive display with a big stand and everything and uh, it's quite absorbent. Uh, anyway, what does that matter? It doesn't matter anything. But the inks won't do as much of that colour changing thing as they might otherwise do. But that doesn't really matter, does it? No. Um, I was going to tip these all out. Uh, so what I've got here are the ones in the pink these are all Inky Depths water brushes, which are our water brushes with the mermaid tail and the mermaid scale. Oh, rhyming. Uh, the Greek edition all have the pink mermaid tails and they are the fine. And the blue mermaid tails are all of the Roman edition. Oops, and they've got the um, um, a medium tip inside. Doesn't really... <sighs> 
find it doesn't really matter too much which tip you're using. Oh gosh, that one's got a bit of ink there at the top. Uh, because, oh look how absorbent that paper is. Yep, gosh. Oh, it's just so strange. Okay, now let me... Actually, you know what? You know what? I am going to use... These are some of my stencils from... With my Creative Expressions... Um, collaboration. And I think that one's from Stencil Girl. This um, Botticelli. Uh, Birth of Venus and they have fabulous stencils but I'm thinking I might use her and spray through or her just as a little start or maybe this one I'm just going to bring these two out let's just see she might be a bit small for this big page and I might have her here. I'm just going to spray with, where's Dionysus? This is just a really nice, oh no, this is Hermes. Might use a few colours. I don't have to spray the whole thing either. I can just get the little face started. It's just a way of starting. Uh, face very very easy. I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm going to put the mirror version here. Uh, it won't be a perfect impression because it's just got a light misting of ink but it's just um, let's just see what we get. It's quite interesting really and then just while that's drying, I'm just going to. Oh, this is this this is absorbent paper too. I'm just going to spritz that with water, and just get my brush. Oh, I've got a bit of gold in there from the pigment pebbles. To see if I can just move that around, so I can make this sort of soft colour that I've made uh, into sort of a, the beginning of a skin tone, because I think that'll be a nice basis pour a little bit of a darker skin tone there and then I'm just going to let that dry and she might be like the mirror self or this is the mirror self we'll just wait and see what happens okay but if I put these back on I won't be able to put them I do like to have all my colours out so it just makes it a bit easier to select them so but I've got that is drying so there are limits, right. This is a colour called Pegasus and oh, I love how this has got slightly more orange on this side and this is slightly more purple. Okay. And this paper is so grabby. It just reminds me why I love my paper so much. Oh yeah, it's real grabby. And by that I mean it's just I'm not going to be out. It's not going to let anything flow. Uh, if I had my time again, I'd uh, put watercolour gesso down first, and that will allow the the <sighs> ink to flow. I might even just put some down, and it w might dry by the time we're finished because it's so hot here today. It's very humid though. Let, we'll just see. But I'll do it for her hair. And at least that will uh, flow, uh, the ink. Oh, it's even grabbing the paint. Gosh, it is. It is. It's an English brand of paper. It's very expensive and it's just so... It's probably for a very specific purpose that I've completely forgotten. But it's a watercolour paper and it's just its not a nice watercolour paper. It's for the way I paint. Anyway. So the watercolour gesso, this is made in the UK, but fabulous. <laughs> and uh, this gives me a surface that I know and trust. If I can't paint on my own paper, then at least 
let me do this and it's, it's particularly nice for watercolour and inks. And we'll just include uh, inks in this completely. In fact, I might, because this is going to be so awful, I'm, I'm going to paint right over it and let it dry. And we can do something else. I've got to say though, this is the part of when I do live streaming because I'm, I've got to, I'm sort of up on my toes. Like I'm really trying to, you know, create something valuable for you. And um, it forces me to just make decisions and live with them. So that is what we're doing. We're going to, it might dry by today, it might not. But at least we saw with <laughs> spray through the stencil. And we'll bring back our other lady that has dried. Oh, Angus is saying, I'll put it in the sun. Thank you. It's just that one. Oh, actually, all of it needs to dry. It's very big. Okay. This is almost dry enough for us to work on, I think. Oh yes, Kari says she has the tattoo inks. They're, oh, the, they're so cool. They're so cool. I mean, the bottles are cool, but they're just fabulous inks. Okay, so let's play around with the Gods and Monsters Roman edition. And so I've got my inks here. These have got the pigment pebbles in them. And let's have a little... I, li I did like this idea of her speech bubble. I might keep Pegasus... Um, well, in this case, I am going to put my pens down here. I'll put those ones here. Let's get organised, shall we? Yes. Um, Kate's saying she needs to put all her pens in sprayers and water brushes so she uses them all. Uh, that's why I've got the stickers uh, as part of the set because they're so fantastic in uh, when you're using them like that. Um, with that little bit of organisation and you know what's about to happen I, like I've got my I've got them all here what's that blue? Hmm. it's a very nice colour what is that? <laughs> and I've got I'm going to have to get them in rainbow formation because ha not having them in rainbow formation is very um, distressing for me because I'm so colour, not colour coordinated on a personal level, I'm just so colour obsessed. I'm just colour obsessed. So I've got my browns, my blue, going into my reds, going into my oranges. Sorry, I'm just, just so you can see what I'm doing there. <sighs> oh, I'm feeling better already. <laughs> Mm. Today I'm picking up my niece and sh uh, we're heading off on an adventure. My, oh she's nearly a lady. She's nearly an adult. It's just the weirdest thing ever. Okay, oh look at these colours. Mm, I'll put her there. So we've got a full, oh, I'll just show you little rainbow like that of all the pens. Now you don't need to do that to all of them and you certainly don't need to put them into a water brush to use them. It's just that they're there, they're ready to use. And I think it was Sky yesterday, she asked the question, Couldn't, can I just put a pebble pigment into um, my mermaid markers? And yes, of course, you could do that with these as well. Put a little, um, one of the little pebble pigments Oh, just start with one of the small ones because it's not much, it's only a little bit of ink in there. Or break one of these into just a chip of it and pop it in. The joy of the pebble pigments is usually with a fleck, you know, sparkling ink. It's usually a gold or a silver. Sometimes it might match the ink itself. And that's purely because it's cheaper to do it that way, really. And um, very often people designing these things think just think, well, a, a shimmer is a shimmer, 
But no, there's lots of different colours. So you can have a blue shimmer in this, for instance, um, like totally different. They're not going to affect the colour of each other. They're really quite fabulous, but you'll then have like a gold shimmer and a blue ink or a blue shimmer and a green ink, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Oh, look, see that's got the turquoise in that one. Oh, some of these I went with the colour and then some of them I contrasted. Oh, yum. Sorry, I'm just looking at the shimmers. That, oh, I might have to use Hydra in a minute. Anyway, I'm getting very... Um, waylaid, distracted. So I'm going to go straight in with Pluto, I think. This is going to be her speech bubble. Might make it a different shape. I might even add some water into that. Now I have to think about what she might be saying. What would someone made of lace say? What would, who is this person over here made of lace? Does that mean she's feeling delicate? That she's feeling almost unseen? Beautiful but ephemeral? Oh, that's got a weird bump there, so I will. So what would someone who's feeling that way, or seeming that way, what would they be saying? And, I mean, sometimes our art journals, especially when you're working like this, it can be a little message to you. Now, it might not necessarily be about yourself. So when I'm thinking of this, and you saw how this just sort of happened randomly but now that it's happened it's a chance for me to think who who around me is feeling delicate who around me is feeling like they're decorative but ephemeral is, is there someone that's saying in my life and what could they be what could this message be to me or to the world I'm just going to um, pull out this beautiful, I love this book, Words to Live By, by Jade Purple Brown. Um, I mainly bought it because how, how could someone's name be that amazing? Jane, Jade Purple Brown. Ooh, Aretha Franklin. Know your happiness. <laughs> Kisses. I love that. When they go low, we go high. If you surrendered to the air, you could ride it. I love that because what does that mean? It could mean anything. Surrendered to the air, is that to breath? Would that suit this? And sometimes just looking at beautiful quotes just helps me just think of something else, might trigger something else in my mind. If you surrendered to the air, you could ride it. This is sort of the air, isn't it? Heart of a woman. When you stop having dreams, ideals, you might as well stop altogether. Gosh. <sighs> when you stop having dreams and ideals, well, you might as well stop. Together. Now, this is now making me think of my mother, who was a fashion designer. And she's at the moment, she has all of her archives, all from day dot, all of her textiles. I used to text, do textile and fashion illustration for her as well when I was like my first job. Um, well, maybe not my, I had jobs at school actually, so not my very first, but first proper job, let's say. 
When you stop having dreams and ideals, well, you might as well stop altogether. And she just never, like life has had huge changes for her, as it does for all of us. When you stop having dreams, and she just, her dreams don't stop. When you stop having dreams, so is this her fabric, fashion? She loves lace. <laughs> when you stop having dreams and ideals, well, you might as well stop altogether. And she's just not going to stop. You know, she's working on her gallery, her archive as a legacy, especially for other people who want to, you know, try fashion because she did it with no, um, it wasn't a, I don't think you could study to be a fashion designer back then. And yeah, she just did it. With my dad and when my dad's health uh, declined, um, really she had to, she didn't have to stop but that she chose to and life just has its way, doesn't it? So I'm thinking of when you stop having dreams, but we don't want to stop having dreams. You might as well stop altogether. So, but I might, let's do dip pen. So I'll grab out, where is my little dipsy doodle? There she is. And I haven't washed her since yesterday. That's very naughty. I'll just have a quick look at the chats. Hey Eva, how are you going? Yes, if you've got your, if you subscribe to the channel, um, then you get your notifications. Like you can turn your notification bell on and um, Um, okay, I'm going to use Hydra, I think. So I just have shaken that to get it moving. Do I want to use a dip pen or a brush? Um, I might just simplify that to... a different pen actually the last word dreams never stop for some reason that quote that I was looking at just it felt negative and um, this one didn't quite but the idea of it it's just making me think of Dreams don't stop. The dream can change. Dreams do change. But they don't stop. And sometimes our little, when we're doing our art, if you just remain open to it, you already would all know this anyway, you know, just sometimes just a little message comes to you in your art and um, it's just a chance to reflect, isn't it? Oh, now, it's also a chance to reflect <laughs> at the beautiful ink <laughs> because this, this is Hydra, so this is a turquoise like a muted turquoise, I'll just show you the colour on its own, Just, it's just the most beautiful blue. Um, but uh, I've put the blue uh, pigment pebbles, which haven't come out yet, but they're on their way. Um, 
Well, I'm just going to let her be as she is, I think. Actually, now I'm going to put a bit of Aphrodite. And this, I'm just going to solidify that, but I'm going to dip that in water first. And just so I'll have a little bit of the ink and a little bit of water and activate this as it's going. I'm just solidifying the lips a little, just so she's got a little bit more definition there. And I can even have that eyelash. I could even put that in a little bit of a deeper colour if I wanted. Might little put a little bit of Pegasus there. Just so it's soft. Dreams never stop. Rather than don't stop dreaming, which is assuming that you've you have stopped, and that's I want to come from a positive space. Dreams never stop. Okay. Have a look at that. It's just so lovely the different inks. Okay. Oh, Gus, do you think that other one is dry? Angus is just going to check to see if the sunshine, putting that out in the sunshine. I'll have a quick little look at the. Uh... <laughs> oh, look at this. Boop. <laughs> um. Oh, good. Debbie's watching me on fast speeds. So that'll be interesting. Um, oh, fabulous, Jenny. Mm. Joyful therapy. Oh, spilling my coffee. Yeah, Angus and I discovered iced coffee cools you down in Japan. It was so hot, bit like to do, and steamy. Um, Yes, and because you're on holiday, we'd have like a little cold glass of something nice. And alcohol makes you very hot, which when you're walking around looking at temples and things, uh, no. But iced coffee, mm. So I'm just having a look for uh, questions for you, from you. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you. Yes, oh, it's just so lovely to see you, everyone. Awesome. Great, I'm so glad that the stream is looking. So I think Angus is nearly back now. And, uh, but yeah, if you've got a little question for me, let me know. Have we got any more of those at work? Oh, I need one. Thank you. Oh, yeah, my journal's all hot. Oh, and it's dry. I like it. Okay, and now we're going to put this ink on the watercolour gesso, which I think will be um, a far nicer experience. Oh, I wish I did that side now. I'll do it later. Far nicer experience. Uh, for me because the super absorbent paper is just mm, mm, mm. no and it gives me a chance to tell you how fabulous watercolour gesso is so the all of my collaborations like uh, are usually available at um, well see they're all a little bit different each collaboration but uh, Cosmic Shimmer is part of Creative Expressions. So this is made in the UK and Creative Expressions only sell to stores. So that is um, uh, like arts and crafts stores around the world. Usually independents uh, have stock these. Uh, and you can usually with an independent store, you can ask if they don't have this, because they just don't have room for everything on the planet, you can always ask and they usually will get it in for you. That's what the joy is of shopping at a small store, is they're a bit more, um, what's the word? Flexible. So that you can get on my website, of course, everything I show you, you can get on my website, but also you can find those in stores around the place, or you can ask for them. 
Uh, but the JDHQ exclusives like these inks, they're just at janedovenport.com. I feel grateful every day that I've got such wonderful following of fabulous people that completely get and understand what it is that I'm doing and uh, it allows me to just keep creating like crazy and uh, having a lot of fun. Oh yes, this is going to be so much better. Now, I don't have to keep her hair down like this. I can change things around a bit. I'm actually going to bring my water in a bit closer so that oh and because this is this is still curing so I'm going to get all sorts of little interesting things happening I think and uh, different colors happening because this is also gradiating ink let's see what happens I think it's going to be really interesting uh, and because we are on a Uh, this is a water media. Oh, it's just going to be interesting, whatever happens. But look at this beautiful colour that it's going. Um, okay. So this is going to be complete surprise. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Do you, have you seen that lady on the Scylla Black? On, she's just on every meme. I'm just about to see on Instagram at the moment. I need room for my hand. So if I've got her here, I've got this here, I've got all of this room, I think we're going to have to have some great big something splashy here, right? We're going to have to. getting that um, pigment pebble to come to the fore, come to the party. That's clean, okay. I'm just going to drop some ink in here. And oh, this is peeking at this corner of my eye. So I've got a bit of tattoo ink and I'm just going to Let it be random. <gasps> Sorry, that was <laughs> me getting farted. <laughs> this purple that it's just made is very nice. Can we need to remember this? Okay, and this, this gesso has not quite cured and dried totally yet. but So it's going to be a little bit more absorbent. So that will be interesting. And I'm going to just dab a little bit. And do you know what? I've got this stamp here. Mm. Just add a few little extra eyes here and there. Oh, it's got black uh, marzipan twist on it, but now it's got black, pink, purple and everything else. Okay, so I've got a bit of a peacock uh, happening here. Interesting. Hey Penny, I'm going really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just down. And there's some sort of slow setting on, so you can only comment every 30 seconds or something. So it feels like you can't uh, add comment, comment, comments because it's a setting that YouTube have to stop, is to help control trollisms. You know, someone coming on and going bananas. 
I spent way too long on Instagram this morning uh, after I put my little effort up uh, of passenger shaming of people doing terrible things on planes oh my gosh <laughs> some of them are so funny people would lose their minds uh, now I'm going to oh Venus this is gorgeous with its gold so this is a orangey pink it's going to contrast a bit with that one so I wonder if this now nah, I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it And this is the size 12 brush from the new brush ballet. The, all my poor other brushes, they're hardly getting an, their noses in because I'm just a little bit obsessed. It's something to do with the balance and the gold uh, on them. Might let this creep in here a little bit. I'm going to join these. Make these some sort of little, yeah. Given the chance, I'd give it a little bit more time. But um, then again, very often we just have to, we've only got a little, a limited amount of time. So we want things to hurry up. <laughs> oh yum okay so that's going to have quite a nice gold um, fleck when it's all said and done so I might drag it into this and because it's on well, it's water soluble it might grab the edges a little bit but let's just see what we have and I might just do something a bit radical I'm just going to grab these marzipan twists uh, I'm just so in love with them because well I've got this little art foamy because we've just had the art foamy release just put your color on like that little spray stamp just so good but I'm going to while this is drying I'm going to actually I'm just going to jam it just a little bit oh what's that I had to get another set of the Greek gods and monsters because I use so much Aphrodite and some others so I think I'll Oh yes, get the pigment pebbles. Just talking about them makes me want to use them. So this is some of the pigment pebbles just melted with gum arabic into the little shell. They come with these little shells. You don't have to use these as a pan, but how can you not want to paint with that? I mean, I ask you, exhibit A. And I've got two different pinks in uh, golds rather in here. Oh, and the blue sparkle is doing its little glimmerations. It's doing its little thing in there. Yum. And the gold. Oh. So you don't really see the reflection until it starts drying. Okay. What am I doing here? I'm going to go in with this a little. And I don't really know where we're heading yet. <sighs> which colour, which colour? I might go in with this Zeus. No, I might go Dionysus. Let's try this first. This is a purple. And... 
Oh, that is so annoying, those things there. Sorry. See, now I'm getting serious. Because the <laughs> flies are annoying me. And then I'm trying to work here. And the fabulous thing about, I don't know what word I just said, fabulous is what I meant to say, I think about stencils is you, it's just a suggestion where we're starting off. This is just a suggestion. We can then go off in any other direction that we so desire. Okay, so I'm just going to give her a little, that'll go purple, just to give a little um, definition here on the face. I know blue is a strange one to do that with, but uh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. I don't know if it'll stay a good idea, but let's just see. And because I'm in the mood, I'm going to now these are water soluble, so I can add water to this. I can leave it just as a nice broken crayon look. Or I can smudge it a little. And I might smudge it with a little brush. So let me get, let me try this one. So it's going to be a good little smudging brush. Um, to turn them into, you can watch the video from yesterday where we actually made this one. Literally put a pebble in there, a couple of drops of um, gum arabic just to soften it up. So then it molds into, uh, you can give it a stir with a toothpick, molds into the pan. This is the shell. The shell's great because it's got that organic um, uh, texture inside. It's still very smooth, but it just it does have a little bit of gripping power. And then I've got just a little bit of blue tack under each one of these, and I've just popped them in the lid of this tin. Uh, so it's easy as pie, but you can literally just paint from the pebble. We can do that too. Oh, what's going on with her mouth? Surprise, surprise! And let me just finish this. Uh, I was trying to avoid using my finger because it'll get messy, but I don't think we can. <laughs> or if I wanted to do a not as smudgy a blend come in with paint with some water mm, no but i like that and then i can tighten it up with something else right now brush pigment pebble you can just lift this right off for um like properties of watercolour and for it to just adhere to the paper better um, and for mixed media adding the gum arabic is going to make it more stable but you can certainly just bam get into it like that you could drop this just break off a little bit drop it into the ink that you want to use and just create enough of sparkling ink. you don't have to put it in the whole bottle just enough or mix it like I do uh, in just a little shallow dish so this one I think we can wash this one out actually let's see how easy so this has got um, legends of the sea ink in it and goodness knows what I'm just going to put some water in that give it a little bath and we can just start again
got more ink on my hand than anywhere else. So say if I wanted to have this bright yellow and I just wanted to use a little bit of ink. Let's do, should we do Pegasus with the bright yellow in it? See what happens. Oh, that's already got doobie doos in it. Right, right, right. Let's, uh, well, I might, I'll just do a little bit. Whoops, where'd she go? Pop that there. Where's Pegasus here? That's Dionysus. Here's Peggy from the Roman set. I'll pop a little bit just of the ink in here. And we can just let that melt. Oh, look at that. Look at it. That makes me happy. That is divine. So it's optically mixing. You've got the gold yellow with this purple and it's a muted um, lilac. I'll pop it there so you can see again the unadulterated colour. But that colour is still just sitting underneath that gold fleck. So we're going to get uh, other things. Um, actually, it's so nice. I just have to do this. Um, Sophie's just texted me, Gus, could you come and answer her for me? Let's put it on here. Look at that beautiful colour. With the gold. Was well, actually a yellow. That is such a nice colour. Should I meet her at Pacific Fair or at, um, I'll just go to her apartment. Pack fair. Yeah, Pack Fair would just be, will that be harder for me to get to or quicker? <laughs> In, on surfers. Oh, she could just let me know. Airport would be the best. Now I've got that there is worrying me actually. So I might just I use something different I'll have um, a different surface if I use a different acrylic so it will just be a little bit different so I'm just going to put another layer over that and it might require a couple we'll just wait and see I'm just going to use this as a white acrylic. Actually, I don't mind her as she is, you know. Just as something just soft and pretty. And this is the arabesque brush. So it's got, um, it's good for acrylic. It's just got a more robust bristle because acrylic is tough on brushes and the, you'll lose if you use acrylic on the the watercolor brushes or brushes that are suitable for water media it doesn't ruin them it but it will over time um it just, because it's just you can't really get all the acrylic out unless you wash with soap and even that you know you're going to be disturbing the brush a lot so it just it is what it is and uh Gosh, I love just playing around with things here. I quite like the softness of all of this. Almost just leaving her like, like this until we meet again, I think. 
uh, the gold that was in that ink that I just put down is heaven. Can you um, get Jess to stop doing that? <laughs> Jess is trying to tell everyone off. So I'm mixing a little bit of Dionysus, a little bit of Pegasus, um, and then mixing those together and letting that mix it with my brush. And I'm just going to, actually, I might put a bit of the blue in there and get a blue, a bit of blue happening too. Now, so that's a little bit of Hydra. And get that yellow in there. I'm going to have a mixture of all these colours. So I sort of get a pretty grey. <gasps> Look at that bowl. But then it's going to have that gold in it too. this be solid down here make sure I get some of this gold mixing in oh and let's just see how that dries I need a little bit of a darker edge there, but I might have to wait for all that to dry, but the gold is looking very nice. Oh no, not Athena. Where is Cyclops? Or I might go back to Pluto. Ooh, might even put a bit of Pluto in there. Sure I've got that gold happening and I just want to get a bit of uh, depth just here wow all the colors because the ink is reacting and doing its gradiating and splitting I've got lots of different colors involved now and we're working on uh, a different surface that's so acting very differently to how it does on the other paper and I love it. And if I let it dry the ink as I'm going up that rule the details will hold way better than they are at the moment I'm just I'm not letting anything dry yet so Um, could you ask Sophie if she's going to the airport at all? Um, okay. Well, I think this, like the neon pink, is overshadowing her, and I don't. Her colours are all soft, so I think that that neon uh, is a bit much. So for me to change that, I'll just paint it out once everything's a bit, once everything's dried off. Or I'd need to incorporate that neon into here and I don't know if I want to. So I would um, just play with it. Just let things dry first and then see how I 
feel about things. I need to let that dry and I might be able to lift that little bit of uh, lip liner that I smudged earlier. Just make sure I've got a clean bit of paper there. Whoop. Okay. Oh, now I'm just going to have a little... Da -da 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 -da. Penny is getting art supplies for Christmas. Fantastic. Yes, this is um, watercolour paper and I, I didn't like the watercolour paper. It's just not very watercolour-y. Um, and I've put the watercolour gesso over the top. So it's doing all crazy things to the Gods and Monsters inks. But good crazy, good crazy. Uh, this was um, just mixing some of those inks uh, earlier, putting that pigment pebble in there. You don't have to do that, of course. It's just something um, just looks beautiful. And this is, some of this was the Gods and Monsters inks that we played with yesterday. But where was the, here. This was where we were playing around with things earlier. Dreams never stop. Uh, with the um, Gods and Monsters uh, inks with laces and stencils and layering the lace and the stencil together so that, you know, we get this lovely peekaboo effect. And then this was playing around with all of the different uh, inks from both sets on um, watercolour gesso. So the inks behave differently again. And oh, just having some fun. The neon pink is from the tattoo ink, not uh, Gods and Monsters. Gods and Monsters are soft uh, colours, like pigments of imagination. Then I've got others that are super bright we want it all we want it all but I think yes unless I get some more neon there or mm, yeah anyway this is the beautiful part of art it doesn't all have to happen all at once it can be cumulative and happen bit by bit <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today and tomorrow we will be here again on YouTube because this is working way better than um, the multi. I've tried, I tried, but uh, that was terrible. And uh, lots of fun. Um, yes, yeah, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that little notification bell thing. That means that you will get a little notice when I go live and it'll be at 10 o'clock tomorrow. Oh, hey, Annette, I think Annette is here. I said someone's saying hello to Annette. Annette, hello. Um, Annette's saying, can you create some of those pigment mixing dishes, please? On the list already, Annette, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much. Thank you to Angus who is uh, answering people in the chat and just keeping everything safe. He's moderating. And uh, yes, um, I'll see you tomorrow and, and uh, have do some lots of art in the meantime. Bye. <laughs> and yes, everything that I showed you is available.